Apple recently launched the latest versions of their MacBook lineup, and they are amazing. They boast of upgraded specs, better performance, and even better speakers. However, what steals the limelight with these machines is the brand new touch bar. The touch bar is essentially a strip of dynamic buttons that replaces the function keys on the MacBook keyboard. Don't worry though, the escape key is still there. Hey guys, this is Akshay from bbomb.com and in this video I'll tell you how you can get the touch bar functionality on any Mac. If you have an iPad lying around or even if you don't, you can get the touch bar on any Mac and play around with it. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. If you have an iPad running iOS 10, you can easily get the touch bar functionality for your Mac. The iPad acts as the touch bar here, giving you the exact interface you'd get from the real thing. You will need to download a couple of files to get this working. I'll leave links to both of them in the description below. If you don't have an iPad, you can do this with an iPhone as well. However, we found that even the iPhone 7 Plus screen wasn't big enough to be comfortably used for this purpose. You still can do this on an iPhone though, but I'd recommend you rather went with the on-screen touch bar that I'll talk about in the next section. First, go to the GitHub page for the apps and download the files called touchbarserver.zip and sourcecode.zip. Unzip the sourcecode.zip file and open it in Xcode. Once this is done, simply connect your iPad to your Mac and sideload the app to it. If you don't know how to do this, you can check out our article on sideloading apps from the link in the description below. Once the app is installed, unzip the other zip file and launch the application. Launch the app you installed on the iPad as well. You should see a MacBook Pro displayed on your iPad screen. We only really want the touch bar, so click on the icon in your Mac menu bar and under Remote Touch Bar Clients, select Touch Bar Only. You will now see a touch bar on your iPad. You can use this the same way as you would use the touch bar on the late 2016 MacBook Pro. So you can launch Safari and directly open new tabs or scroll through the open ones. In preview, you get various editing options for the images you have opened. Most of the Apple apps work perfectly fine with the touch bar. If you don't have an iPad, you can still get the functionality on the Mac. You won't be able to touch it, obviously, but you can use it with the mouse and get a feel of what the touch bar would work like. You don't really need to download any additional files for this. Simply click on the menu bar icon for the touch bar server app that you downloaded earlier. Here you will be able to see an option that says on screen touch bar. Press function to show. Make sure it is checked. If it's not, just click on it to enable it. Now you can simply press the function key on your Mac's keyboard to display the on screen touch bar. While you can't interact with this on screen touch bar using touch, you can click around on it and explore the various features it offers, as well as how it responds to what app you're using. While typing, the touch bar attempts to offer word suggestions. However, it is really slow. This is not the fault of the app we are using. The real touch bar on the late 2016 MacBook Pros is also slow when it comes to autocomplete and word suggestions. However, you can use this on-screen touch bar to interact with apps. In terminal, you get buttons to adjust the tint of the terminal window as well as a button to access the man page for the commands you've written. Also, if you really do need the function keys, you can simply press and hold function on your Mac to display the function keys on the touch bar. So that was how you can get the touch bar functionality on any Mac. I hope you liked this video and if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel for more cool tech videos. Do share your suggestions for the next video in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.